The account of Elijah and the prophets of Baal is recorded in 1 Kings 18. We visited Mount Carmel, where we were looking down toward the east into the Jezreel Valley, where we could see the stream that Elijah the prophet had chased the prophets of Baal and killed them there at the stream. This all followed the famous story where Elijah challenges the prophets of Baal after waiting for three and a half years for the people to make a choice between God and Baal. And they remained noncommittal to the Lord God. And Elijah, he challenged them saying, If Baal is God, worship him. But if the Lord God is God, then worship him. We know the story of the prophets of Baal cutting themselves and dancing around all day with no success. We're on top of Mount Carmel. It's not just one mountain, it's really a range. But we're at the spot, the location, where Elijah had a showdown with the prophets of Baal. There were 4,000 of them, and uh, in Hebrew thought, when you have anything in fours, it has to do with all four directions. In other words, it was trying to communicate that they were everywhere. In fact, so many, Elijah thought, that after he had the success of running them down this hill here, hill, mountain, into that creek valley and killing all of them, um, he ran away and after this great success went into a deep depression and said I'm the only one and God said no I've reserved 7,000 who have not bowed the knee to Baal 7,000 means something too it's completeness he was saying God was saying to Elijah not um, yes they were everywhere 4,000 of them all four directions but I 7,000 seven is a number of completeness so God is saying I have completely reserved them for my purposes after this great showdown, we know that Elijah, in response to the people's repentance, prays again for the Lord to make a provision of rain. So following these thir three and a half years of drought, rain did come because of Elijah's earnest prayer and petition on behalf of the people and because of their repentance. Elijah, the name means, my God Jehovah is he. God supplied great grace in this strong prophet during this time with a most evil king, Ahab, and his wife Jezebel.